Good day, grade 10. This is day 44, lesson 4 of Analytical Geometry, chapter 8. It is the 4th of June. And today we're going to talk about gradient. This is the third formula that we're going to learn from analytical formula and the last one, analytical geometry. Okay, so um, it's the last formula that we have to learn for analytical geometry. So first we had the distance formula, then the midpoint formula, and now the gradient. Okay, the gradient, you've learned about the gradient in grade 9. The gradient is about how steep is a line. The steeper the line, the higher the gradient. And also, we have a positive gradient, which is like that, and a negative gradient, which is like that. So, when a line is uphill, as um, so to say, it is a positive gradient. When a line is downhill, so to say, a negative gradient. Right, so what is the formula for a gradient? The gradient is delta x over delta y, and that is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so what is delta y over delta x? Delta is the capital letter D in the Greek language. And that stands for the difference in y over the difference in x. Difference in y over the difference in x. That is the y values subtracted over the x values subtracted. So if I have two coordinates, I just subtract the y values on top and the x values on the bottom and that will give me the gradient. Let's do a few examples. So let's say I have this, these lines on a Cartesian plane. And now I'm going to work out the gradient of AB. So, let's do that. MAB, the gradient of AB, remember, it's not a capital letter M. The capital letter M stands for the midpoint. This is the gradient. So, it's small letter M. The gradient of AB is delta Y over delta X, which is y y, y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Okay. Now, I'm going to mark my coordinates. I'm going to say, let A be x1, y1, and the coordinates of B be x2, y2. Then I have 1 minus 3 over 6 minus 2, if I just substitute it in. Okay, so I see I have y2. So in the place of y2, I'm going to put 1. Aha. Then I have y1. Where's y1? y1 is the x-coordinate of a, which is 2. Ah, oh, my goodness. The y-coordinate of a, which is 3. And I put it in there, 3. The same with the x-coordinates. x2 is the x-coordinate of b, and that is 6, so I substitute that in. And the x-coordinate of a, I substitute it in. Okay, now I'm going to work out what that is. 1 minus 3 is negative 2, 6 minus 2 is 4. Negative 2 over 4 gives me negative a half. So, that is the gradient. Let's think, is it... A downward line yes so it is a negative gradient it makes sense that I got a negative answer and also don't be afraid of fractions many many times I will get fractions okay so then the gradient of CD let's just do one more example the gradient of CD delta Y over delta X it's equal to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1 it's always like that then I go to CD and I mark my coordinates. That's just for myself. You don't get marks for, for naming them. But I'm naming my coordinates. I'm saying that I have X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Okay, so it's Y2 minus Y1, which is 3 minus 1 over x2 minus x1 is 1, negative 1 minus negative 5. 3 minus 1 is 2, and 1 plus 5, negative 1 plus 5 is 4. 
2 over 4 gives me a half. So that's positive a half, which is correct because it is a positive line. It's an upward line, uphill line. So yes, it is correct. All right, so now what you have to do is the first part of exercise 3. We're going to divide exercise 3 into two days. Today, you are only going to practice doing the... Um, doing the gradient like this with the formula. So it's going to be exercise 3, page 198, number A, 1 and 3, and B. Okay, so this is the exercise. You can pause the video, do the exercise now, and then when you are done with the exercise, you can play the video again and we mark the exercise together. Okay, welcome back. It's exercise 3 um, on page 198. So, let's quickly read the question. It says, calculate the gradient of the lines, segments, through the following points. So, it's going to be A, B. Okay. They give us the coordinates of A and B, 1, 3, and 5, 7. So to work out the gradient, I can also write in small letter M. The gradient of AB, it will be delta Y over delta X. So it's YB minus YA over XB minus YA. I can also use numbers Y1, Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Okay, then I substitute the values in 7 minus 3 over 5 minus 1. 7 minus 3 is 4, 5 minus 1 is 4, and 4 over 4 gives me 1. Then number 3, they give me the point A, negative 1, negative 3, and B, negative 5, negative 7. So you have the Y value of B, which is negative 7, minus the Y value of A, which is negative 3. And then XB, which is negative 5, minus the X value of A, which is negative 1. Negative 7 minus minus, which is plus, negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4, and negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 over negative 4 gives me 1. Then number B. I'm quickly going to just put the sketch in here so that we have um, the questions. All right. Okay, so by number B, they give us this and they say to calculate the gradients of the line segments in this diagram. Okay, so here we go. First, we're going to do the gradient of AB. Okay, the gradient of AB is equal to delta Y over delta X, which is Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Okay, let's see. First, I'm going to use the y value of b which is negative 3 minus 3 over then the x value of b minus the x value of a 4 minus 2 negative 3 minus 3 gives me negative 6 and 4 minus 2 is 2 so negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 then the gradient of cd Okay, let's mark that one, the gradient of CD. That's the one that I mark with purple. Oh, it's not very straight. There we go. So now it's delta Y over delta X, which is Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. It's always like that. I always write the formula out like that. Then first I'm going to use C's coordinates. So it's going to be negative 1 minus 4 over negative 6 minus 1. Okay, so it's very important that when you use the coordinates of C first, that you have the Y coordinate and the X coordinate of C in front and then those of D. You could have used D's coordinates first, but then please make sure that you don't switch them around when you use the y value of d first, then you also have to use the x value of d first. Okay, you can use d or c first and you will get the same answer. So let's go on. Negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. Minus 6 minus 1 is negative 7. 
that gives me 5 over 7. That's the gradient of CD. Now the gradient of EF. So I want the next two I want you to um, remember for tomorrow. So the gradient of EF, my goodness, I want the pink highlighter please, okay. So the gradient of EF, that's a vertical line. It's very important that you now remember this for tomorrow. So the gradient of EF is equal to delta Y over delta X, which is Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Okay, now I'm going to subtract the Y values, 1 minus negative 3 over negative 1 minus negative 1. So that's going to be 1 plus 3, which is 4, and minus 1 plus 1, which is 0. So 4 over 0 gives me a gradient of undefined. Okay, so that is undefined. I cannot divide by zero, that's undefined. So now you can remember that a vertical line has an undefined gradient. Okay, the gradient of GH. The gradient of GH is this horizontal one. Okay, so let's work that one out. Delta Y over delta X is equal to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Okay, I'm going to put in the values. First I subtract the Y values. Negative 1 minus 1 minus negative 1. And then the y X values 5 minus negative 2. Negative 1 plus 1 gives me 0 and 5 plus 2 gives me 7. 0 divided by 7 is 0. Okay, so here's another thing that you can remember. The gradient of a horizontal line gives me 0. Okay, and that's it for today. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email your teacher.